Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, what are the different inequality signs and what do they mean? So inequality symbols are used to show the relationship between two expressions that are not equal. This is different from where the expressions are always set equal to each other. So we've been looking at equations with equal signs. Now we are going to look at inequalities with these four signs. So let's review these different symbols. So this one is less than. So if we were to write an inequality that is x is less than 10, this is what it would look like. And if you flip the inequality, we can also put 10 is greater than x. That is the same thing as x is less than 10. Okay, then this symbol right here reads as greater than. So if we were to write an inequality that represents x is greater than 10, it would read like this, x is greater than 12. Sorry, I said 10, I meant 12. And then 12 is less than x would be equivalent. So those are two ways that you can represent x is greater than 12. Okay, then this symbol right here is the less than or equal to sign. If we were to write an inequality to represent x is less than or equal to 2.5, it would look like this. And then 2.5 is greater than or equal to x would mean the same thing because the x is still less than the 2.5 less than or equal to. And then this symbol right here is greater than or equal to. So if we were to write an inequality to represent x is greater than or equal to negative seven, it would look like this, x is greater than or equal to negative seven, and you could flip it and flip the sign as well, and that would mean the same thing. So now we are going to write an inequality to make these statements true. So the first one I have six and 10. Well, six is less than 10, so I would put this symbol, the less than symbol. Okay, then 7.7 .7 and 7.45. I know that the 7.45 is smaller, but if we add in zero here, you can see that the 7.45 is smaller. So that means that 7.7 .7 is greater than 7.45. So I would use the greater than symbol since this number is bigger. Okay, then I have negative eight and negative 10. Negative eight is closer to zero, so it is bigger and negative 10 is smaller. So that means I need the greater than symbol. Negative eight is greater than negative 10. And then I have 2.09 and 2.8. 2.09 is smaller than 2.8. 2.8 is bigger. So I would need the less than sign to make this true. 2.09 is less than 2.8. Okay, so now what we are going to do is determine if the given value will make these inequality statements true. So on number five, they gave us that x equals 12. So we're going to replace x with 12 and see if it makes the inequality true. So I want to know if 12 plus three is greater than or equal to 10. 12 plus three is 15. Is 15 greater than or equal to 10? Yes, so this one is true. Okay, number six, they gave us that y is 21. So I'm gonna replace y with 21 and see if it makes the inequality true. 21 divided by three is seven. So my inequality statement reads seven is less than six, which is not true, that is false. Okay, number seven, they told me that C is negative four, so I'm going to replace C with negative four and see if it makes it true. So 12 times negative four have a positive times a negative, so my answer will be negative, and then 12 times four is 48. So negative 48 is less than 22. This is true because negative numbers are always smaller than positive numbers. Okay, number eight, I have D equals six. I'm going to replace D with six. So I have six minus nine is greater than three. I'm gonna change this to adding the opposite. So they have different signs. I'm gonna subtract these numbers, nine minus six is three, and then I'll keep the sign of the larger absolute value. So it was negative three. So my inequality is negative three is greater than three. That is 
false because a negative number is not going to be greater than a positive number. Okay, number nine, I'm going to replace x with negative 10 and see if it makes the inequality true. So negative 10 divided by negative two, I want to know if that's less than or equal to 16. Negative 10 divided by negative two would be a positive five, which is less than or equal to 16. So this statement is true. And then number 10, I'm going to replace F with negative three. So I want to know is negative four plus negative three greater than or equal to two. I have a negative plus a negative, so I'm gonna add and keep the sign. So four plus three is seven, keep the negative sign. Is that greater than or equal to two? No, so this was a false statement.